Good afternoon, guys. Today is Monday, August 21st, 2017. This is the Daily Mix TV's Afternoon Edition. So we've discussed before the importance of CSR, corporate social responsibility, those kinds of campaigns and how they have to line up to a brand's DNA in order to make sense and deliver the highest ROI. Meyer, which is primarily a Midwestern grocery chain, is kicking off the Meyer Fall Simply Give campaign this weekend. It's designed to help stock the shelves of its food pantry partners throughout the Midwest. The fall campaign will run through September 16th, and on the 1st and 2nd of September, Meyer will double match customers' donations up to $25,000 per pantry. So they've got 235 locations, and each one designates a local food pantry as a beneficiary. So essentially what happens is you go to checkout, and you're encouraged to buy a $10 Simply Give donation card. With the customer's uh, donation matching that Meyer is doing, essentially that means you donate $10 you purchase $10 donation card, they're gonna add 20 to that, bringing the total donation to $30. So it's really cool. It's done three times a year during the spring, the fall, and holiday, which is typically when food pantries need uh, food the most. And right now, what you have going on in terms of this is phenomenal. They started, uh, Meyer that is, started the Simply Give campaign back in 2008. So as I said, it's three times a year. Since then, they've delivered nearly $32 million or over 350 million meals to help neighborhood food pantries keep their shelves stocked throughout the year. So here's how it works. You go in, you buy the $10 uh, Simply Give donation card. They then convert that into a Meyer food only gift card, which is then donated directly to local food pantry. You know, it's programming like this that continues to build year over year over year that can make all the difference in the world to a community, certainly to a brand. I'm really proud of programs like this, and I love Meyer for doing this, especially given what we know is going on in the economy and, and certainly with unemployment. So, you know, congratulations, kudos to Meyer. Can't wait to see what the results are this year in terms of 2017. Certainly what you're going to do to build out into 2018. Now, the war with Amazon for Walmart continues. This time, Walmart's applied for a U.S. patent for a floating warehouse that could make deliveries via drone, basically bringing products from a blimp-style aircraft down to the shoppers' home. The aircraft would fly about 500 to 1,000 feet up, and it would be operated autonomously or by remote human pilot. Now, Amazon was granted a similar patent in April of 2016, so it's interesting to see the two of them in terms of parity, innovation, and development. There's a lot of advantages to an operation of this type with respect to warehousing and restocking product and so on. First of all, it allows you to move the warehouse from small town to small town all the while being able to adjust your inventory levels, all based on demand in specific regions. So that's brilliant. Now it creates better efficiencies across those inventory controls, especially from a timing point of view. You can fulfill orders all the while restocking drones that come back to the ship while it then moves on to the next town. Lastly, it allows Walmart and Amazon to own their own distribution pipeline without having to worry about the drama and the nonsense at FedEx or UPS, which have had their own problems in recent years, especially around holiday time. I would look for more activity of this type to increase over the next year as the economy softens and spending starts to drop. That's typically when companies look to cut costs and develop better systems to realize higher ROI levels. Speaking of which, the nation's largest home improvement retailers found a new use for its store rooftops. The Home Depot has just partnered with GE's current unit and Tesla on a rooftop solar project in 50 stores across five states, California, Connecticut, New Jersey, New York, Maryland, uh, and the District of Columbia. It's supposed to reduce electricity grid demand by about 30% at each location, and under an agreement, Home Depot will, lose its re uh, will lease its rooftop space and buy the output from the system. So this type of initiative makes all the sense in the world from an economics and a marketing point of view. Think about this. Home Depot needs the positive press, and as it is a cost-cutting measure, it's the perfect mix. I'm sure we're going to see more retailers jump on this bandwagon, especially since Tesla rooftop tiles are so much cheaper than its predecessors. Uh, today is the total solar eclipse, which is why we're kicking out the Daily Mix TV's afternoon edition early. 
Please be careful while you're out there, guys. Don't look up unless you've got approved safety glasses. My name is Sean Patrick Hillman. I'm the CEO of Hill Story Marketing. I'm also the editor-in-chief of The Daily Mix TV. We would love to hear from you, so please email us at thedailymixtv at gmail.com. Have a great afternoon, guys. We'll see you tomorrow.